I'm Jackson Rudolph with Team Paul Mitchell Karate, and this is your body control bow staff tip of the month. Another very difficult concept to understand with bow is how to isolate your body from the motion of the bow. I'm sure many of you have seen kids that will do strike combos and the strike combos will look like this. And the strikes aren't necessarily that bad, but their body is all over the place and the students are either not coordinated enough or just don't understand how to fix that. And the instructor also can be a little bit confused as to how to stop moving the body because it feels natural if you're using your hips to generate power to want to be using your body as you're moving the bow. But here's, here's the key concept. You'll see kids that will have their hands too close together. You'll see kids that will get off target as well. Anybody can tell them, okay, spread your hands apart. Okay, make sure your strikes are in line. Any instructor can tell them that. What few instructors see is the fact that most of the time that's caused by a tightening of the shoulders. When kids want more power, when they want to go faster, they have a tendency to tighten their shoulders. And what that does is this. You see automatically, if I just leave my hands loose and open, when I tighten my shoulders, my hands slide in together. Okay, and if my hands are close together, if my shoulders are tight when I'm striking, it makes it harder to get to the targets that I want to get to. Whereas if I relax my shoulders and tighten up only my chest and my lower arm muscles, that allows me to still have pop in my strikes, but also to have full, complete strikes. My hands stay in a third position, and it's much easier to complete the strikes that I want to. Now, that addresses the shoulders specifically, getting the strikes on the right line. A lot of people struggle with body motion. How do you lock in your body? It's all about keeping your core tight, as with any technique. In order to keep your body still, you have to keep a tight core. This is especially important on strike combos. If my core is not tight, my stance has a tendency to go to here instead of here. Okay, a full front stance has the hips going in the direction of the strike. There will be a lot of students that will hit a front stance like this because it's an easier, more natural position to hit and your core doesn't have to be tight to be here. What will happen at this position is when you strike, the hips will rotate, the front leg will wobble, the back leg will wobble as well. So if the students engage this back hip, use this hip and bring it all the way in, that locks the back foot into place, this leg has to be extended, and it locks the core into place so that everything stays in one spot as you're striking. Another part of the body that students tend to move a lot is their head because students get naturally very, very scared of the bow on up strikes. The bow is coming at their face, and normally people don't like it when a bow is coming at their face. So kids will do this and lean their head to the side every time they do an upstrike. But then it continues on from the upstrike because instead of just doing this, they'll do this and move their head all over the place as they're trying to do the strike combo. The best way to do this is to take them through it slow. Have them work on looking in the mirror and isolating their head. If the student looks in the mirror, in order to see themselves, they can't be moving their head around. So if you have them look in the mirror, take it nice and slow, so they know the bow is not going to hit them, that will eliminate the head motion and you gradually get faster and faster so the students get more and more comfortable with the bow going next to their head but not actually hitting them. So head motion, uh, shoulder tightness, and core strength are going to be the three biggest things when it comes to being able to keep your body in the correct striking position. I'm Jackson Rudolph and that is your body position bow staff tip of the month.